Hey Cancer, welcome back. This is going to be a love reading, uh, month of February. Cancer, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, uh, and feelings, next steps are, and then I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, and next steps are. Like I said, it's a love reading, so if you're not interested in love, you have absolutely nobody in mind, you live in a cave, then this is not for you, okay? But catch me next week for the general overall, if you would like a general reading, okay? For those of you who are either in a relationship, you're in love, you have somebody in mind, it could even be an ex, you might not even be with this person anymore, but there's somebody you're inquiring about, then this reading is for you. If it resonates, awesome. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And let's see what we got going on here. Cancer, in your overall energy, you have the Knight of Chalices and the Empress. For a few of you, just a few of you. Emails. Oh, I guess this could be males too. If you don't want to get pregnant, be wary because it's in the energy. <laughs> it's only a few of you. But um, for the rest of you, I feel like Cancer, your overall energy is, you know, whether you're a male or female, wanting to feel like the Empress. And that's uh, the energy of the Empress is someone who has it all together, that feels on top of their game, that also has a very soft nature to them as well, um, that is able to make things happen. Um, it's also a bit of a sexual energy. So I feel like um, Cancer, the, for the month of February, that's kind of the energy you're embodying. I also feel like um, you might have somebody coming in to offer you love for some of you. It's But they're, it's really just an overall energy of being open to that. Okay. But we'll see. And then the person external to you, Cancer, they have the Eight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So this person's overall energy is walking away, you know, trying to decide what their next steps are. They might have already walked away from this relationship or they're trying to walk away from some disappointments that have occurred within the relationship and they might be uh, like going back and forth about it still. For a few of you, this person might suffer from, like, bipolar or depression. I don't know why I got that, but I did. That's not going to be all of you, but, yeah. Are you view the person external to Cancer. person external. So you have the moon and the knave of swords and how you view this person. I feel like this person is like not the best communicator. <laughs> it's like they tell you half truths or they only give you part of the information. You know, they, they always keep something to themselves. Um, there's some secrets here. And Really, I think for some of you all, the, the secret is, it's just that they, you know, they like to keep some things to themselves. Like they purposely do it. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they are not somebody who likes to reveal all. And you know this because this is how you view them. Okay. How they view you is the Ten of Swords and um, the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like for a lot of you watching, this relationship has ended. Okay. And I feel like they see you as being disappointed over the ending. Feeling betrayed over it. For the few of you who are actually still with this person, like I said... You, they then they would see you as being patient, trying to be patient with them, even though um, there's been some, like, backstabbing within the relationship almost, you know? That could be why this person had, was hurt. Okay. 
So it's two different groups of you there. Next steps. So you have the Two of Swords and the Hanged Man and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Now the Seven of Swords has a different meaning in this deck. So um, that's a good thing. <laughs> I feel like in your next steps, Cancer, um, I don't really feel like you know what you want to do. You're, you're taking a time out. And I think that was the um, advice in the last reading was that you needed a time out. And so I do see that you are trying to see things. See this relationship or yourself in a in at all angles, you know. For those of you that ended it with this person, I feel like they may be trying to um, get your attention again, but you're ignoring it. You know, you're not taking any action towards them, and that may have them really disappointed. Actually. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, in the person's next steps, they have the Knight of Wands and the Chariot. For those of you that have ended a relationship, and this and the person external is somebody you've already ended things with, and I see the majority of you, that is who this is pertaining to. I feel like this person definitely is wanting to pop back in. All right? And I feel like they do this often. You know, they come in and out like that. And they want um, movement forward, but this is also your card, the chariot. So I feel like this person's going to try coming back around, but like I said, you may ignore them, you know, or make them wait because you feel like this person has hurt you or betrayed you or something like that. Or they, you. Remember, it could be interchangeable. But I definitely see, you know, I'm coming back around. For those of you who are still with this person, I feel like they want, um, you might be a little bit indifferent to them, I guess, this month. A little disconnected from your partner this month. And they might be like full of. Like their energy's in and out. <laughs> you know? Like they're almost ready to go to take action. Move forward. Move on. Get over it. I heard that. Get over it. They want you to get over it. <sighs> That's for those of you who are still with the person. Yeah, they want to move past the conflict and um, they want to, yeah, take action. Some of them want to travel, definitely, or want you to take action on moving or moving things along or, yeah, something to do with that. Particularly if you're dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? Um, and like I said, for those of you who have absolutely had an ending with this person, I definitely see them coming back around. I think they want movement forward, but I feel like this person might be uh, a little pushy. And <laughs> there's like a competitive energy about them, which is really weird. Like why you want to com compete with your partner, I really don't know. But I can't, but I see that here. Or like, maybe they're competing for you, Cancer. It's like they they might see you being on top of your game again and, you know, getting love offers from other people, you know. And like, this is a very competitive personality here. And that could be why they're coming back around, so... Watch for that. 
check the motives, Cancer. What's the motive? That's your situation. So regardless, if you're in group one or group two, what is your overall message? Oh my goodness, I wanted one message. I got a million. <laughs> I got the Empress again, like seriously. If you're of like childbearing age, you know, there's a chance of pregnancy or some of you are pregnant or your partner is. <laughs> That's only a few of you, okay. But the overall message here is reflect on how much abundance you have and um, like, be the leader in your own life, Cancer, because I see a lot of you have been getting pushed around a lot these past few months of readings, okay? And um, I feel like if you're able to lead by example in this partnership or be more assertive in what you want, that that will help you break free from any, like, discontentment within the relationship. And for those of you who have left this person, I feel like you need to continue to be assertive. If this person comes back around, they may try and tie you down again, and the message is to not allow them to do that. Okay. Person external, um, overall messages, they have the Five of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So, <laughs> through sadness comes inspiration. Like I said, somebody walked away and it caused a lot of sadness. But for some reason, that sadness is also inspiring this person's next moves. Or like the loss of this relationship is what's inspiring them to finally make moves. So that's really interesting. Cancer, let me know. Let me tell you the zodiac signs I have here. I have air sign, like I said, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I have uh, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Pisces. Possibly an earth sign. But don't get caught up in the zodiac signs. If it resonates, it's for you. Um, please do let me know in my comments. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you the best. Catch me next time.